this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot blind spot monitor malfunction or BSM malfunction on Mazda vehicles. So what we, if you're getting these error messages, what we're going to do is we are going to use the Ucanic scanner and show you how you can um, read the full codes and figure out what is going on. So you want to plug the Ucanic adapter into the OBD2 port, which is under the dashboard. All Mazda's 96 in New York have this port. Uh, and then you turn on the ignition by pressing the start button twice, but without pressing the brake pedal. And then all the dash lights are going to turn on like this. And then what you need to do after this, you can go to the Ucanic scanner and turn that on. And you'll be at the home screen right here. And then you press Diagnostics and then select Mazda from the list. And then select Smart VIN, also detect your model. Here we're working with a 2021 Mazda CX-9, but procedure is going to be the same for other models. You can go to control modules and then sc scroll down here. Uh, you're going to have two models you need to look at. Uh, most uh, Some others have two, but in some cases you might only have one blind spot monitor. In this case we have left and right control modules, so you want to check both. You can read the codes from the module, so if you have uh, the error message on the instrument cluster, uh, then this is where you'd want to read the codes. So if this is or similar error like this, then reading the codes will be the first step. And then if you, we go back to the scanner, you can see that uh, there's low battery voltage. So let's say if the battery, 12 volt battery is dying, if the voltage dropped over, uh, below 12, uh, below a 10 actually, uh, what we'll do is that the blind spot module might just um, shut down and throw that full code. So you can store that code if you have more than four or five codes. They might be like from two, three years ago. So um, you can just, what we recommend doing is just storing, saving the list. You can uh, save the codes on the device if you need to look at them later. Uh, and then come and clear them. This is where you save them. You can save them device, email, print, whatever you like. Right now they're just saved. You can retrieve them later. And then you can clear the code. Press yes. All codes cleared. And then um, the other thing you can do is you can look at live data from the, now we're only looking at the left uh, blind uh, spot monitor, but you can do the same. You can go to the right module as well. As well. But you can see the different statuses on that and you can actually use the scanner as well to turn on the blind spot light or the buzzer for example BSM illumination mode mirror warning left left or the buzzer uh, the sound so if you suspect one of them is bad uh, you can actually confirm it using the scan tool so we can go here mirror select option 2 then it's off right now we can turn it on if you look at your side mirror, your light should be on like that. If it's not, then um, the mirror itself could be um, defective, like the LED light or the wiring to it could be the issue. You can turn that off and you can, so we're only looking at the left, but you can also look at the right um, blind spot monitor as well. So um, another thing that you could do is you can do a quick scan. You'll go through all the different control units Sometimes you might have an issue with another module, it's like for example the body control modules uh, can also affect your uh, blind spot monitoring. So you want to check those and try to connect the dots. Um, and in some cases it can be a little bit more challenging to narrow down the issue, but that's why it's important to look at all the full codes that are on the vehicle that are present. And again, like if the car hasn't been diagnosed in a long time, just scan it, save it the report and then erase all codes. You, ca you can hit erase down here on the lower right once this is complete and then it will go through all the modules and clear codes and then you can only focus on those once they return right away. Instead of focusing on codes from like two years ago that might no longer be an issue on the vehicle. But that's it. Thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.